Hi, this is Nick from CCTV Security Pros, and today we're in our showroom talking about network video recorders. Our VR units offer all of the latest and greatest technology and features. This is a professional system, and that's necessary when you're building a multiple camera system that needs to be reliable and easy to use. It's simply a better product, better system, better equipment than what you would find in some online retailers or big box stores. And of course, all of our recorders and units come with a full three-year warranty. Live USA-based technical support is included in every product that we sell. Our goal is to help you maximize the value of your security camera system. A lot of our customers like to view their camera systems remotely over the internet, so you can view your HD live video or play back that same video right from your recorder over the internet with no interruption at all and no monthly cost or fees to you. And of course you can watch this video on your smartphone, tablet, PC, or Mac. Our VRs use power over Ethernet. So no need for separate power cables, power sources, just one, one cable from your camera straight to your NVR. This calls for a much easier installation, less time on a ladder, means more time enjoying your brand new CCTV system. IP systems also mean more versatility when connecting cameras. As long as your camera is connected to a network, it can be viewed anywhere. All of our systems also include digital zoom, but with NVRs, this is a capability is greatly enhanced due to the higher recording resolutions. Our systems also include advanced motion detect features, which allow you to change times or dates or different cameras where you want to trigger certain events to happen. You can also mask out certain objects that you don't want to be uh, detected at all. Here in front of me I have our CSP-NVR PoE4. Right out of the gate you're going to see a nice sleek faceplate here with a USB port right in the front. Let me go ahead and spin this around. This us have a USB port right in the back here. So two USB ports total. And what those ports are used for is your USB mouse. This mouse can either be plugged into the front or the back. I'd recommend plugging this one in the back, which leaves the front USB port wide open for you. So if you wanted to use a external hard drive or a USB thumb drive, you can back up very easily from that front panel. So it's easy to kind of swap those in and out. This uh, unique system also carries a power adapter here. And we're going to plug this in right now. So what makes this power adapter unique is once this is connected to a wall outlet, I'm just going to plug this three, uh, three pin plug right here. This is going to go to your wall outlet. So once that is plugged in and this system is powered on, this uh, NVR is going to get its power from that outlet and also going to power all four of your PoE cameras right here. So one power source powers everything in the CCTV system, makes it very easy to use. So the second uh, Ethernet port here is for the internet. So if you wanted to view your cameras over the internet on uh, your smartphone, your tablets, uh, computers, whatever that might be, Use the six foot patch cable, plug this right into your internet modem or router, and plug that into the ethernet port right off here, off to the side. We're also going to have HDMI and VGA. So if you uh, wanted to use a VGA monitor, something's a little bit older, uh, doesn't support some of the higher resolutions, you're more than welcome to use the VGA. I'd recommend using HDMI and using a nice display, kind of like the one I have behind me here. The uh, also going to have two RCA ports for bi-directional audio. So if you wanted to use that, you're more than welcome to. It's not a, uh, a necessary feature, but it's optional. It's nice to have just in case. The uh, recording resolutions on this, pretty cool. So this is a 4K ready model. So if you wanted to use 4K cameras, you could do that. Uh, plug any of your uh, single cameras into these PoE ports. It's going to do the power and video and up to 4K, like I said. So 4K at 7 frames per second. You could do 4 megapixel, which is a little bit lower. Uh, that could be 20 frames per second. And if you wanted to use 3 megapixel or 2 megapixel cameras, that would record at two, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 30 frames per second. So 4K at 7 frames, 4 megapixel at 20 frames, and 2 and 3 megapixel at 30 frames per second. So I'd recommend this model for pretty much anybody that's looking to get into the a, a basic IP system, easy to use, high definition, 4K. This is one of our flagship units, and I urge you to check it out.